This is a review for the test number one in finite math, which covers chapter one. So this is just a copy of last year's exam, but you can expect your exam to be fairly similar to this. All right, let's get into it. Well, the first thing we're going to do is state some definitions, or at least complete them. The slope m of a line segment connecting two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, is given by m equals, well, this is a slope formula. You can think of it as rise over run, where we take the difference in the y's, y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1. Or you could write it as y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. All right, next one, the point slope form for the equation of the line. So if you're given the slope m and you're given, I'm sorry, slope, point slope form up here. Uh, you're given the equation of the line, uh, well, you want the equation of the line. You're given the slope m and one single point that it passes through. Well, this one is simply y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So all you have to do is plug in the x1 here, plug in the y1 here, and plug in m right there. Point slope form. The slope intercept form, that's the one we probably all remember, is very simple. You get the slope m, and this time the point they're giving you is the y-intercept, which we're calling b. So that's simply y equals m x plus b. Slope intercept form. And the last part for this video, we're just going to have to plot a few points. <clears throat> so we've got just these four points, just plot them. So remember that the first term is the x and the second term is the y. And all this a, b, c, and d is just a way to label the points. So the point a is this one, 5 comma negative 2, which would be Here's the origin, so go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, and then down 2, and we could just label that one as A. The next point is negative 3, 5, so the X value, the part you go left and right, well, we're going to go left, 3, because it's negative 3, and then positive 5, up 5. So left 3, up 5, puts us right there for point B. Point C is negative 3 halves, comma, negative 5. So we're going to go left and down. We're going to go down 3, and a, three halves, which is like 1 and a half. So 1, be right between these two points here. And then we've got to go down 5. Right there. A lot of these are ending up to be on the border because they have a 5 in them. So this would be the point C, where we went negative one and a half and down five. Last point is three comma five halves. We'll go to the right three and then go up five halves, which is like two and a half. One, two, and then halfway up to the next one would be right there. And that would be our point D.